We're going to be starting a Tuesday segment now, as well as our Thursday how-tos and our Sunday stories. We are going to be talking in these just about a little bit of background at first, and today we thought it would be best to talk about our own personal backgrounds because we did mention them a long time ago before most of you had joined us, and so I think it's important um, for our story. For you to know a little bit about us and most importantly how we met so when i graduated dental school i was working as a dentist and i bought this boat and was living on it alone and living on a boat kind of makes it a little interesting for dating <laughs> because you live in a boat so uh i was living in an apartment with a couple of my friends who had just decided to buy a house together so i was in the process of actually moving back in with my parents before i tried to search for a new apartment and both of us happened to be on this ancient app called tinder yep i swiped right <laughs> um we <laughs> We swiped right. <laughs> These were our profile pictures, and it worked. Herbie had a corgi, which really uh, attracted me. <laughs> and so I actually messaged him first, and we... the dog works. It does. Always get a dog if you need to get a date. <laughs> I asked him what his dog's name was, and um, we. He just immediately asked me to get dinner. He didn't really <laughs> waste any time. Yeah. Well, I'd done the internet dating thing. And, like, I remember one, I had talked to this girl for, like, a month. And then I was like, hey, like, we've really gotten to know each other. Let's go out. She's like, oh, no, I don't go out with people from the internet. I'm thinking, <laughs> why are you on the internet then? So I don't waste time anymore. Or I didn't waste time anymore. So a couple uh, messages. I'm like, let's go. Let's meet. <laughs> yeah. So we went and we got sushi. That was our first date. We got sushi, Herbie went to the wrong restaurant, yep. I sat there and thought he had stood me up. <laughs> I got to a restaurant that was empty and thought she stood me up. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, eventually we got together at the same restaurant and had a really nice dinner together, clicked immediately, and well, I eventually asked him the question, do you live with any roommates and where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> so I lived in a really nice neighborhood in Baltimore. My I, favorite neighborhood. Yeah, but I lived next to it in a marina at that neighborhood. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, yeah, it was easy to be like, oh, yeah, I live in Fells Point, blah, blah, blah. I pictured, but... <laughs> when he said I live in a boat, I pictured Sleepless in Seattle, like a houseboat. And, like um, a floating house yeah. boat. <laughs> and so when I first saw the boat, I was taken aback a little bit. It was actually a small sailboat. <laughs> yep. And my plan was to always have it as a boat first, home second. So it was very much camping in a boat. Yeah. For years. It was not habitable <laughs> for me. Yeah, that is how we met. We we just, everything clicked right away. And we both knew immediately that we were right for each other. Yeah. It was like, there was no question. So I'd never had a roommate or any living situation like that. And... We had our first date, which was Monday, and then I asked her, hey, let's meet up tomorrow. I met her, like, we had a, I set up a date for the very next day, yeah. and on that date is when I suggested that she move in with me. <laughs> and I said, okay. <laughs> yeah, no red flags, apparently. <laughs> this is normal. He asked me to be his girlfriend here on this couch, and then when I said yes... <laughs> He asked me to move in to the boat, yeah. and I also said yes to that. <laughs> Many I red flags. Yeah, I don't this know. is not... You, don't do that. <laughs> if someone asks you on their second date to, like, move in with them, they might, they're probably weird. Mm -hmm. So then we yeah. dated for a year, um, a full year, and he asked me to marry him on the boat. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, we went on a long sailing trip. Yeah, we went on a sailing trip in the Chesapeake Bay. We went all the way through the bay and out into the Atlantic for the first time for yep. me. And that was kind of like our test run to see if we even liked the ocean. Sea trail for her. Yeah. <laughs> see if... And right before we had <laughs> left, we had this party with our parents, and that's when he asked my dad permission. Yes. <laughs> 
and it was sunset and it was beautiful. Yeah, it was we were, a calm day. We had anchored early. Yeah, we anchored off of St. Michael's. Mm -hmm. uh, not St. Michael's. No, we anchored off of, off of Tangier. Tangier. Yeah. yeah. There's this little knoll out in the middle of the bay where you can't see any land from it. Yeah, we actually did a it's whole video on Tangier if you're interested. It's a really cool island. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was like we had no internet access or anything. And we <laughs> were just sitting out in the sunset and um he said I got to go tie a knot. Yes. And she thought I was being annoying and ruining a romantic moment. <laughs> <laughs> and um he came back with a ring. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is our story about how we met. And how we became a couple and um, somehow ended up here. <laughs> yes, now we're like 4,000 miles from where we started. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Tinder, very romantic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Highly recommend. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call and message us directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.